generally generally for the bank deposit in uh, in our general knowledge the knowledge we have about the bank's uh, savings account so there are so far we have known that there are three types of accounts that we consider to deposit our money so there are three There are three accounts. What are the three accounts? Fine. These are the three accounts that uh, a bank can offer you to deposit their money. Okay, why these three accounts are very popular? Because these are the very comfortable enough uh, to what will I say very comfortable enough to transact actually so if we talked about a uh, current account I have already mentioned you about the current account still I am telling you a little bit current account is kind of a running account you have to run this account in a continuous basis so since we are talking about today the de bank deposit it means deposit means is one kind of savings. So how current account can be a savings account or depository account? Like here, current account normally called in our country, it is already we call especially the job holders are called this salary account. You know, this is the, uh, that is why it is called current account because current account means you have to transact this um, transact your money in a daily basis uh, day, not a daily basis actually it's a continuous basis for example if you're doing a job and you have a current account then in after after every month you will have a certain amount of money into your account it is depositing your company is depositing money in the account so that is why it is called current account but for the current account there is a very big disadvantage we will face and you can say um, if you are doing any kind of job then this is a very good disadvantage what is it This is the no interest rate will be offered. Current account has this type of disadvantage, but still we have a uh, current account, definitely. Still we have because we need it for our job purpose or any kind of purpose we need it. Another one is savings account. Savings account is another most popular one because uh, some fixed income people, the, the people who earn their uh, money or at a fixed amount at a fixed rate then normally they ask for savings account or the fixed deposit account because they don't want any kind of asset uh, for the current account you have to keep uh, your record uh, for your satisfaction though bank will keep record but still you need some kind of satisfaction so that is why we actually need this type of bank so secondly if the bank is a uh, savings account it will definitely offer you uh, some kind of interest rate or benefit so here interest rate will be five to seven percent i have mentioned this thing several times to you so still since it is in our this chapter as well i have to mention this you to remind yourself to remind your mind okay so another one is fixed deposit account actually fixed deposit account normally people issue uh, for a large amount of money it can it is not for the um, not for the one lakh or two lakh it is for the 10 15 20 lakh and its majority rate is huge like 15 years some uh, people wants five years, ten years. When I was doing uh, an internship for the one and a half months in a bank, I have done it. So I have seen that fixed depository account is really very really heavy account. And to run this account, definitely you have to uh, show the bank uh, some 
sort of you know what will I say some sort of figure I mean very heavy documents that you yes you have sufficient uh, financial assets or liquid assets so that you can um, add uh, some kind of benefit to our to their bank so here fixed deposit account here bank normally offer the highest interest rate to this account holder because they are the account holder who normally keep their money as deposit as a huge amount of money it can be i have mentioned just now that it can be 15 lakh 20 lakh uh, it can be 25 lakh there is a huge amount of money normally this fixed deposit account holder deposited for themselves so that is why and their maturity rates is also very high maturity date is 50 sometimes i have seen this 10 years uh, i have seen one scheme i will not mention that will be for 15 years and still i have seen when i have done my internship in one of the reputed banks on that time so seriously people were just my uh, intern bank just uh, introduced this scheme and what will happen there people just come there come over there then they just collect information of that particular scheme so see still people are when it's about the higher interest rate definitely people you know want to more deposit money to earn more expected income so here fixed deposit account um, So fixed deposit account definitely offer some kind of uh, some I'm not saying some kind of uh, offering highest percentage of interest rate interest rate. So here we have seen that firstly to deposit your money, what you have to do, you have to open an account in the bank, especially or any kind of non-financial institution. Whenever it is about to deposit your money, then definitely you need a locker. In a very general word, we will see we will say that you need to deposit if you want to deposit your money. Oh yeah, definitely you need to open an account. It can be in the bank, it can be in the central bank. Uh, in our country, this is Bangladesh Bank, or it can be the non-financial institutions like IPDC, IDLC. They are also opening account to deposit your money so here after opening an account what will you do after opening an account you will deposit the initial money to run your account and after a certain time or after the first installment of your money you then uh, install your money in an installment basis up till your maturity time after the maturity time you can cash back your money with the expected income which is interest rate so here, since we are talked about the bank deposit, so here there are three accounts to deposit your money, okay? So what is the first one? First one is current account, but current account here is definitely a depository account. It is in terms of the salary account in the perspective of our country. Also, it will work for the financial aid. Uh, also work for the foreign aid or for some uh, we will discuss about it a little bit later so here firstly we can see current account yes it is a running account here you just uh, your money will be uh, will come into your account just normally think this is the salary account of, of we are have okay we have secondly savings account definitely see savings you are saving so you are sa going to save your money so here you will put some kind of interest rate bank will give you which is like 15 percent interest rate and secondly uh, the last i'm not saying secondly this is the last one what is it last one is fixed deposit account so fixed deposit account since it deposits a huge amount of money for with the longest period of time that's why it will give you a highest interest rate or it can offer you so what is the highest interest rate? It can be 12 to 13% interest rate, but definitely 
this type of interest rate obviously will be permitted from the central bank. A normal bank or an individual bank cannot take the decision to pay the bank or to pay the clients their interest rate. This is definitely permitted by the central bank. Okay. So after depositing all the money, what will happen? What will bank do after having all kind of money? This is, uh, if we accumulate all the things, we can say scattered cents. We can say this is the uh, theoretically approved or you can say no, it is in the book to understand no. You, these are if, if you are a bank or if you act as a bank you will collect money from every account that you have if you want to invest in the market then definitely you have to collect your money in every account over here I have mentioned so here actually if you accumulate them then I can say for my understand or for you understand you can say scattered savings Okay, this is called the scattered savings. So, by accumulating this, we, we, we are calling this scattered savings. So, after getting all the things or after getting all the informations or money that a bank has to earn, you have earned already. And then, what will you do with this money? What will you do with this money? You will use it properly and earn more or you can say additional capital effectively because as a bank you are doing a business and your bank is definitely a profit oriented organization this is a non -pro this isn't a non-profit organization right so that is why you should do what you should use this money effectively so that you can earn money and you can satisfy your customer simultaneously so remember this so that is all the concept of the bank deposit and uh, we are done with the concept of the bank deposit. Fine.